Iran is the latest country working to acquire hypersonic missiles, but what are they and how difficult is it to build them? Al Jazeera's defence editor Alex Katopoulos explains. An arms race is well underway to build a new kind of weapon. Hypersonic missiles have been in the news for years, but let's take a closer look at how they work and why so many countries want them. The word hypersonic means anything that moves more than five times the speed of sound, or Mark V, which is 6,174 kilometres an hour. That's 1.7 kilometres a second. Most ballistic missiles already reach these speeds, but this new class of weapon can launch and plunge back into the Earth's atmosphere, gliding on a cushion of air, taking a random path to its intended target. This makes it difficult to detect and destroy. The challenges of ensuring hypersonic missiles work are formidable. Friction from the upper atmosphere produces extremely high temperatures, as high as 2,200 degrees Celsius or more. To give this some context, titanium melts at 1,670 degrees. The intense speed of the missile also produces a cloud of superheated particles called plasma that surround the missile, making it very hard for radio communications to get through. Yet despite these challenges, both Russia and China have produced a range of hypersonic weapons. The United States is struggling to keep up as more countries look to these weapons in the hope they will give them a decisive edge in combat.